Have you ever had one of those days when you've gone hunting? You know the one I'm talking about where you forget 101 things and you're constantly coming in and coming out? That's happened to a lot of us. In today's episode, I'm going to give you some tips on what you could pack and how you can get ready for your hunt. Welcome back guys good to have you here on resolute hunter uh, today's video I want to show you what I typically bring with me on a bow hunt now bow hunting runs here in Connecticut uh, this year I think we started on the 15th of September all the way to the 31st of December we're bow hunting for deer turkey of the two things I like to bow hunt for with that let me show you my layout first things first let me show you my bow my bow here is the diamond prism um, draw weight of about 45 to 50 pounds I have on it. I have an octane stabilizer here. Um, everything that else is here is pretty much standard. I added the stabilizer. I added the strap um, and the quiver. So the quiver I would highly recommend. Um, this one carries five which is more than enough. Uh, for out on the hunt and it's detachable. I'm used to shooting with my quiver off so when I'm out in the woods and I have a target in sight I always have this off because that's what I'm used to. So um, also Primo's makes this sling for your bow and let me tell you walking through the woods it's not heavy but when you're hiking a couple miles through the woods carrying this thing is a pain so I highly recommend the sling here. Um, great bow. This was given to me by my kids um, as a Christmas gift one year and that's actually what got me started on hunting. Comes equipped with Apex sights. I went ahead and picked up a light for it. Um, great in low light conditions like when you're hunting turkey first thing in the morning that sun starts to rise still a little bit dark. This just illuminates the sights lets you uh, get sighted in real easy and also I don't know if you can see that there. There is a little level in there. Helps keep your bow straight. Um, excellent first time hunting bow. Um, I really like it. Um, it's accurate. Uh, easy to tune. Um, sometimes I do take it in uh, once in a blue moon just to get uh, tuned up. But uh, a lot of that stuff I'm going to start doing myself. Going to do some research on it. I'm going to bring that to you. So that's my bow. Let's talk arrows. So I'm shooting these I picked up at Cabela's. Um, my draw is 27 and a half inch. Uh, I'm not a tall guy by any means, so my draw is a little bit shorter. And I'm shooting 5570s, and these I believe are 400s. So great arrow, sturdy, um, true to flight. They are straight as can be, and uh, they're durable. Um, I try to change them out um, every season. So, but during that season, I get a couple hundred practice round shots on them, and they're pretty durable. Um, the target I have lets me shoot broadheads. It's good to practice. If you're not going to shoot broadheads, your field tip should be the same weight as your broadhead. I learned that. Um, that'll help you when you're out in the field uh, get a nice, accurate shot. Let's move to the backpack. What I carry here is my field mine backpack has a lot of pockets in it. I'm gonna empty everything out and then just show you what's in it. That's probably the easiest way to go. Let's get to it. So, here's about everything that I carry in my bag. Extra battery for my GoPro. Now I have this lesson learned. Start over here. First of all, I always bring these snacks. I try not to bring these. I'll open these at home and put them in a soundproof container before I leave. Chapstick, especially this weather, never know when you're gonna quite need it. <clears throat> Those days you're going in hunting, you're gonna need these when you're going in before sunrise. 
I like to bring uh, Nikon wipes for my lenses, either for my binoculars, my scope, my uh, <clears throat> my camera equipment. Those are essential. Uh, we'll start over here. Is my Gerber. Well, I call it a rip saw. It's not a rip saw, but let me tell you something. This thing cuts through bone like it's nobody's business. This is great when I'm field dressing a deer. And what I have here is my Onyx EDC carry knife. This comes with removable blades. These blades you can buy <clears throat> separately. Uh, these are surgically sharp blades. Um, so you don't have to keep sharpening your knife. I don't know how to sharpen a knife. For someone like me, this blade is invaluable. Um, I used it when I um, harvested that buck last week, and this blade did the job. It was magic. Made it a lot easier, and it folds safely out of the way. I always carry an extra knife on me, cut rope, whatever I need, may need a knife for. It's always good to have. Um, yep, and this is just a browning folding knife. And for my everyday carry, I also carry a buck knife as well. This just stays in my pocket along with anything else I carry. It's cold days. I have body warmers. I haven't really used these. Um, when I'm out in the cold, I do dress in layers, so I keep my core warm. Uh, what gets cold are my hands sometimes, so I'll have hand warmers. Uh, just put those in my pocket and be on with that. I wear glasses when I hunt, so yeah, about that. I lost my C&I glasses the other day. Uh, my wife's not too happy with me, but I usually keep them in here when I'm not hunting with them, and I'll keep these in my backpack as well. Um, here's my release for my bow. This is a true ball. Uh, this was my very first one, and this thing is accurate it releases smoothly no issues with that I like wearing rubber gloves when I field dress my animals makes it a little bit neater I also carry wipes which I don't have here I used them all up my last harvest and uh, I gotta replenish that um, I use these bags too if I harvest a turkey I'm not usually taking the whole bird I'm taking the breast and the legs so I'll carry these with me for those type of those type of hunts there I also have these Bushnell binoculars, 10 by 42. These are fantastic. They're waterproof. I don't have to baby them too much in the field. I do always keep the lens caps on them. Um, so I like to use those. I always carry a hat. It gets cold out there sometimes, so. My buttocks needs to be comfortable when I'm out there. Um, especially when you're sitting in a tree stand for hours at a time. I just picked this up at Cabela's. It's comfortable keeps me from sitting on cold steel so I always bring one of these with me as well whenever I go on a hunt and that's pretty much what I bring I also wanted to show you what I bring in addition to my license obviously I always bring my license this is my license here I bring a writing utensil if I do get a harvest I use that to write it down it's a sharpie it's waterproof it won't rinse out um, tell you what I started doing I just cut a piece of cardboard out so that when I'm out there in the woods, I have something I can write on. It makes it a lot easier. I fill out my tag. After I fill out my tag, what I like to do is put it in the bag. <clears throat> I'll put this in the bag as well along with my tag. Zip, zip it here and I just attach it to my harvest and there it's always with it. It's not going to go anywhere and I have everything in one place. I don't need to go fishing for stuff all over the place. So that's what I bring when I go out in the woods and I'm out there for hours on end. I know I have everything I need. I create a checklist the night before. I go through that checklist, make sure I have everything in. Uh, usually when I do go on a hunt, I'm going, leaving at four in the morning. Um, usually have about a 45 minute ride out to where I'm hunting. So what I like to do is make a list the night before, get everything on that list. Put stuff in the car that I know I can leave in the car. I don't like to leave my rifle in the car. I don't like to leave my bow in the car. So I put that stuff, <clears throat> keep the rifles in the safe. Those are the only things I do come downstairs for. Um, and then leave everything else by the door that I can't put in there. And then I pack out the car, leave the car outside of the garage, of course. I don't wake the wife when I'm out hunting. I 
like to keep her happy as much as I can. Um, but that's it. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, if you guys pack anything else, let me know in the comments below. Uh, one other thing that I normally pack that isn't here too is a small first aid kit. I usually keep some antibiotic cream and maybe a couple of band-aids. Um, that's another thing that you don't see here that I need to replenish because I always seem to cut myself when I'm out there So I always have a need for it, but if you guys pack anything else um, Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know um, Get some good valuable tips on what else I could carry out there that'll either maybe create an area where I can lose some of this stuff um, or um, Enhance what I have until next time. Thanks for joining me